It's Monday, July 30th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. Ron from Twitter says, Don't you think it's dangerous to tell people they are simply covered by God's grace? Doesn't that make people want to sin even more? Excellent question. And you know, that's kind of the way we feel about it. We're afraid to tell people that Jesus forgives their sins actually even before they've committed it. He died for sin, past, present, and future. All the sin of the world was covered. Isn't that dangerous, Ron says. And you know, Ron, no, it's not. In fact, it's really dangerous not to. You know, one of the greatest things about our Christian faith, folks, is that God's grace covers those areas that we can't, which is almost everything. We don't have what it takes to discipline ourselves to be Christians. We've talked about that before. You can't discipline yourself to be perfect. You've already learned that, haven't you? And God knows that, which is why Jesus died on the cross. Now, here's the biggest fallacy of the faith. If you tell people they're covered by grace, they're going to want to sin even more. And of course, Paul talks about that in Romans 6. He says, What then? Should I sin more that grace may abound more? Absolutely not. He says, you missed the whole point. And honestly, that's really not the way it works. You know, we've talked about the pink elephant in the room. We've talked about Arthur in that respect. We said, you know, I want you to concentrate on everything else but Arthur. Don't think about Arthur, my my knight back here. Don't think about him. All you can do is think about it when I tell you not to. The same thing is true with sin. The more you try not to sin, it seems like the more you sin, we need another path to sin. And that path, honestly, is grace. Now, we think that the more we try to be perfect, the more we're going to be. And it isn't true. You know it's not true. The more you try to settle some of those issues in your life, the more you seem to be plagued by them, the more your mind concentrates on on them. Whatever you feed your mind with is what comes back out again. And if you're constantly focused on sin, guess what's going to happen? You're going to sin. Here's the good news. When you focus on God's grace, what he's done for you, what he continues to do for you, when you're honestly seeking his face, things begin to change. You see, we try really hard to be moral and we feel like the more moral we become the more spiritual we become and that's not the way it works morality is a response to grace not the road to it you see i become more moral i become to be less i become less sinful when i honestly begin to accept god's grace in my life and allow his power to work mightily in me Now, that's an important distinction, because here's what it means to you and I in reality. It means that as I live my life, as I pursue God's face, as I really begin to accept his grace in my life, I sin less. Again, morality is a response to grace, not the road to it. And folks... Is it dangerous to tell people just that, that they are covered by God's grace? Honestly, it's dangerous not to, because that's the foundation for everything that makes our Christianity work. It's God's grace to us. It's his freedom for our lives. We've been talking a lot about freedom, and the foundation of freedom really is God's grace. So I hope you'll accept God's grace today. And I hope that you realize that the Christian life isn't a a discipline. It's a surrender. You need the Holy Spirit inside of you to really begin to change you. Because you can't do it by yourself. God bless you. Have a great day.